All right, it's a gorgeous but uh, chilly Saturday morning here. Um, 35 degrees is what the uh, gauge on the car said as I pulled in, but uh, not windy at all, very still right now. We're going to uh, continue to do this elementary. I have done that whole area right there all up along the building and way up along the building over there, all the way along the sidewalks. And I have done about six swipes worth along that right there, uh, that sidewalk there. So now it's uh, time to do the big inner part all over in there, all right? I know there were ball fields here back in the 50s and 60s, uh, so, uh, kickball, uh, baseball. So time to see what we can find. Lots of silver and lots of relics over that way. So let's get at it. I'll bring you back in in about an hour. Nice, I love finding these. Don't know whether you can see it or not. It was given off a solid 11. Yeah, it's a Jack. All right, did you play Jacks as a kid? I did a few times, even though it was pretty much a generation even before me. So there you go, a nice little relic there. Let's keep going. All right. If you're finding wheat pennies, the silver's not far behind. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I think it's a 1940S wheat penny there, so. Yep. 1940S. All right, let's keep going. Well, this one was ringing up a solid 15 on my Equinox 600. Ah, and as you can see, it's a bit of a relic button there. You know, not terribly old, but probably 50s, maybe 60s. Get it home and get it cleaned up and it'll look a little bit better. So, there you go. From before my childhood. Let's keep going. Just a couple of feet in front of the other button. This one was ringing up a solid 13. And there it is. Yet another. This one is a two hole. <laughs> I drop everything. And my wife just absolutely laughs about it. There you go. A two hole metal button. A relic from the past. Well, this one was ringing up a lot. Don't know whether you can see it, but I got enough of a look of, at it, cleaning it off. It's a 1949 wheat penny. Yeah, the backside's in pretty cruddy shape, so. Yeah, I'll have to get that cleaned off at home. All right, where there's wheats, there's silvers. Let's go find them. Now this is a cool relic. It was ringing up a 2021. Look at that, it's tiny. There's my finger. A United States Navy button. That could even be silver, even though I didn't see a marking on there. But it cleaned up real nicely. nicely. Looks a little cruddy there in portions on the back where there might have been stuff that was on for the button, but that could well be Oops, see if I can get it in the light. Silver right there, so. All righty, let's keep going. Well, here's the plug that I just dug, just so that you have some idea of what the plugs look like when I put them back in the ground. You can't hardly tell they're there. Here's what I dug. I don't know whether you can see it or not. It's a 1940 Jefferson nickel right in between the buffalo nickels and the war nickels there ought to be some sort of a consolation prize for that seriously what do i have here this one definitely looks odd and guess what 
it's got that telltale sign it's got that p up there on the top doesn't it yep right there i've got myself another war nickel but this one looks really really cruddy on this side let me see if i can get it cleaned off Well, I've got it cleaned off as much as I'm going to get it here in the field. There you see, 1944 P. War nickel. Silver in the hole. Gotta love it. Oh my goodness. What in the world is this? That was ringing up a 7 on the Equinox 600. Look at that. What is it? It's a tiny little ring. It's not gold. Gold wouldn't be that color. It's got to be copper. Wow. But what a cool little relic ring there. Nice. That'll clean up decent. Love it. All right, I'm going to live dig this one because this has that loud squeak like silver. And it was ringing up. As high as the low 30s it didn't sound big so I don't think it would be a quarter if anything it would be a silver dime let's see what we can find here there we go not easy to do this one handed and it was deep too so try and get down there and not ruin whatever was making noise uh oh it's not silver i don't know what that is but that's what it was right there oh well well this was a very choppy 12 13 14 and i see something right there so i don't think this is going to be precious at all but yeah there's a chain attached to it here Let's see if we can get the chain out of here well you know i'm seeing that and you know i'm probably not filming any of this i'm seeing that let me uh, stop filming and get this out well, there it is. Nothing precious, but exactly what you would f figure an elementary school kid would lose. Let's keep going. All right, I was digging a 2324. I thought maybe this was a wheat penny. That is no wheat penny right there. Is it silver? Hmm. Is it silver? Could be. Let's find out. Let me get it cleaned up. All right, if this were anything other than silver, I don't think it would have come out of the hole looking like that. It's a little surprising because you can see it's a kid's adjustable ring, but I think right in there, when I get it home, I'm going to find out for sure that that's marked 925 silver. So there you go. I'm going to call it right now, silver in the hole. Got to love it. Well, guess what? I was just saying to myself, this thing was ringing up a 2627, and it was loud, but it didn't have that really high-pitched chirp that you expect with silver. And so I was thinking it was just going to be a copper penny. But guess what? It's not a copper penny. It's a rosy. Let's find out what year. It's a baby rosy right there, folks. 1964 and they still count 90 percent silver gotta love it all right yet another wheat penny at this elementary school i think this is a 1946 can't tell 100 percent for sure like i've said where there's wheat pennies there's silver and i've already found three silvers on the day let's keep going all right, this is crazy. This was ringing up just like a zinc penny, 2021. And I thought for sure it was a zinc penny, except 
I put my shovel in there to get it right out of the plug right there and I started to see a few of these beads and I was putting my pinpointer all around here and I couldn't find it anywhere then I looked over <laughs> there it sits right there well there you go alrighty I doubt that's silver but it could be it's a nice little owl charm on a bracelet well here's something old that I don't find every day it was ringing up a solid 12 is that a suspender clip it's kind of what I think it is I'm not a hundred percent certain I'll have to get it home and take a better look at it but it looks like it even has some design on it so it's worth uh, worth keeping let's keep going This was a solid 1213, and I keep thinking I'm going to find gold. But guess what? That's not the color of gold. But it is a ring. That's ring number three today. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I got it cleaned up a bit, and I'm going to say that that one was gold plated because the gold plating is still on the inside of it there's no markings on the inside and as you can see I'm gonna say it's gold plated copper so all right let's keep going all right we'll take these every day of the week let's see what it is yes siree it's a buffalo nickel I don't think we're gonna get a date off of this one it's not looking good. But hey, like I've said in the past, buffalo nickels are one of my favorites. This one's pretty cruddy though, but oh well. We'll take it. Let's keep going. Boy, it wasn't deep, but it was getting me a 27 and a 28 every once in a while. So I thought maybe it would be silver, but I didn't dig it live because it wasn't deep. But guess what? There it is. Sorry about that. There it is. Silver coin number three on the day. Oh. This one's going to be a Merc. Let me clean it up a bit. All right. This one is a well-worn earlier date Mercury dime. As you can see, 1920s, and I think that's a four. I think it's 1924. I have found the key date in the past, which I think is a 1921 that is worth about 60 bucks. I don't think this is it. I think this is a 24. I'll have to take a better look at it when I get home. And oh, by the way, I forgot to say, silver in the hole. Gotta love it. Yet another successful hunt at this elementary school. Started off with the jack today. You saw me pull the uh, bracelet that had the owl on it. I didn't show you the another owl earring. All right, you did see the uh, necklace with the uh, unicorn. Three dimes, six Jefferson nickels six pennies you saw those two buttons um there's the usn navy lapel pin the buffalo nickel three um wheat pennies whatever that is uh, nice little relic the three rings including the silver ring and three silver coins the rosie the mercury and the war nickel all right wonderful hunt gotta love it